All right. Hey there, uh, Mr. Thompson here, and um, I have seen a problem that somebody needed some help with on Facebook, and um, so I'm making a video to give them the solution. Um, don't have my normal equipment, so it's a bit quick and dirty, but um, hopefully it'll help at least that person and maybe some more. Um, so we've got a parallelogram here, and we got some straight lines, as the uh, problem says, uh, and PQ is 10. QR is 8, and RB is uh, what we're looking for, so I'm going to call it X, okay? To solve this, um, we're going to use similar triangles, um, and we've got two sets of similar triangles that we're going to find. Um, they sort of center, both of them, uh, center around the uh, point R, and we've got some vertical angles um, around part, point R. So we have those two angles. And um, we'll start with the two triangles that are formed by uh, with those angles. So that's angle uh, ARP, which is congruent to angle, um, let's see, it would be CRB, okay? And then the parallel lines give us um, some congruent angles. Um, so I'm going to go that one and this one, okay? Uh, because the parallel lines cut by a transversal, so angle... Uh, a P R is congruent to angle. Um, that was A P R, so this will be C B R. Okay. Now, two uh, congruent angles in two triangles gives us similar triangles. So triangle A R P is similar to triangle C R. Okay. Um, and uh, we'll come back to that, but there's another set of similar triangles, again, around the vertical angles. So I'm going to say uh, angle CRQ uh, is congruent to angle, um, we will call it CRQ, and then ARB. Okay, and then once again, we have some... Um, uh, we have some alternate uh, interior angles, and so we get angle, let's see, QCR congruent to angle, uh, and we'll call it, um, it was QCR, so BAR, okay, BAR, yep, okay, now, again, that gives us uh, congruent tri uh, similar triangles, so we can just say CRQ is similar to triangle ARB. Okay, so two sets of similar triangles, and what I'm going to do is draw those triangles down here, and I'm not going to worry about drawing them to scale. I'm just going to draw ARB and uh, CRB. Okay, I'm not even sure if I'm drawing the bigger one. Uh, you know, big or what. Um, but with those first two, we know that RB is what we're looking for, what, we've, what I've called X, right? And um, RP is the 10 plus 8, uh, plus 8, so that's 18. Okay, so that's all we know about that, uh, those two triangles. And then let's look at CRQ. Okay, CRQ and triangle a, R, B. Once again, R, B is the uh, side we're looking for. And R, Q is our um, eight uh, length segment. Okay, So we got two, two triangles. We've got one unknown, two known sides. We can't make a ratio directly between you know, what we have right now. We can't make ratios out of the eight, the 18, and the X. Um, if we could, that would be great, but we can't, we, we don't have a relationship that does that, but we do, what I notice is I have RA um, on this triangle and RA on that triangle. I'm going to call that a new variable. I'm going to call it Z or Z or whatever. And I also have, um, uh, uh, let's see, RC on this triangle and RC on that triangle. So I'm going to call those Y. Um, RC equals RC, right? And uh, RA equals RA. So I've given those variables, and now I can do ratios um, for a, a set of ratios for each triangle, right? So for each triangle. 
So I know that, for example, over here, x over 18 equals y over z. Okay, and on the right, I can do x over 8. Um, actually, I'm going to do it the other way around. Just thinking ahead, doesn't I could do it this way, but I'm going to do x over x equals y over z. And we notice that we have y over z on both of these ratios. Okay, and so uh, y over z equals y over z. Therefore, x over 18 equals 8 over x. Okay, which is a ratio I can solve directly algebraically. So I can cross multiply. I get x. Oops, not 8. I get x squared equals 8 times 18. 8 times 18 is 144. Okay, so I have x squared equals 144. So we'll take the square root of both sides. Uh, keep writing it. 8 instead of x, but x equals uh, plus or minus 12, but because they're geometric shapes, it's just 12. So 12 centimeters, that's the answer. There we go.